Hi, I'm Justin King with the Asset Building Program here at the New America Foundation, and I'm here today with David Kerr. David is the author of Kids First, uh, and, and uh, David, can you tell us a little bit uh, about the book? Uh, what's the genesis of the book? Are we not putting children first? Well, the genesis of the book is my stint on the Obama transition team, mm -hmm. and every kids group in the world showed up, uh, but they all were focused on a little tiny slice of what kids were, and I thought, where did the kid go in all this? So I just, as the, the policy part of me said, okay, let's take a look and figure out what a kid's agenda would look like. And it really is driven by a golden rule standard of public policy. Mm -hmm. um, what's good enough for a kid that you love, that's what's good enough for all kids. Um, and so what, uh, what's good enough for a kid that you love? What are the, uh, what are the underpinning uh, ideas that you want to put forward? Well, it's a five idea book and it's five ideas not because they're the only ideas in the world, but because they were meant to be big, game-changing, evidence-based, you can grow them ideas. Mm -hmm. Strong support for parents, really good early education, high quality K-12 linked to the communities that they're in, a caring, stable mentor in kids' lives, and children's savings accounts, a nest egg for the future. And this is obviously an idea that's very dear uh, to my heart, to the hearts of the people in the asset building program at, at New America. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about how you sort of see children's savings accounts um, tell us a little bit about what you think the, the, the upshot of uh, the upside is uh, for going forward with a children's savings account proposal. Well, I started by realizing that if you, if you got through steps one through four, you would have developed kids with kind of human capital. They'd know stuff, they'd be smart, and they also would have real social capital skills. They could know how to connect to the world. But then, particularly if they didn't have any money, where are they going to go? They just stopped dead in their tracks. And so many kids who are poor, lower middle class don't have any place to go. So I started because I thought, ah, kids' savings accounts give you that nest egg. And they do. I mean, that's the miracle of compound interest story. But what I think is even more important than the nest egg is the behavior change that they work. Right, right. So uh, for folks who aren't familiar, uh, there are asset effects. Uh, families that have savings, children that have uh, savings in their name behave differently. Yeah, I mean, what you get is Families, particularly poor families, who of necessity are present focused, mm -hmm. really become future focused as well, and their kids become future focused and become much more money savvy. And we know this from what really is now a long and unfortunately ended experiment in Britain, where for half dozen years or so, every kid um, right. had a had a child savings account, and the degree of knowledge and the degree of parent investment and the degree of parent engagement is really very impressive. It's the best natural experiment we've got. And, and that experiment does continue uh, with those families who are exactly. still out there. Exactly. So we're going to see what happens with those, with those families. But if you build a system that gives everybody something and that encourages poor families to invest, it's really a nudge strategy mm -hmm. to get poor families to invest. And it's a strategy that, that gives something to everything and more to those that need it most. And that's very consistent with my notion of what we want. Everybody should get something. This is not a poor people's program. Right. But poor folks, because they need the most, ought to get the most. And uh, let's uh, sort of talk realistically for a second. How can this happen? Well, I think the, the great thing about kid savings accounts is that everybody likes them. You know, Republicans think of them as building future capitalists, and Democrats think about them as leveling the playing field. The not so good thing is they're everybody's third priority. Um, so, to me, unless you connect the dots, unless you see that what I'm describing in Kids First isn't a program by program by program notion, but it's a strategy, it's a system of supports, um, then I think any one of the ideas, but particularly child savings accounts, are going to falter. Because they need to be, you ally kids savings accounts both at the beginning with strong family support mm -hmm. in early childhood, and at the end with community schools and good schools connected to their communities. Mm -hmm. Those are allies are going to bring both causes forward. So I think everybody benefits, but most important, the kid benefits from those kind of connections. It's really interesting. Uh, David, I want to thank you for your time. For people who are interested in more information, you can learn more about kids savings accounts at www.newamerica.net. And please check out the book, Kids First. Thanks for having me. Thank you.